and welcome to hack slash crawl i've been playing this game in school during like after i'm done with all my work in my flash class on the website freegameshh.com that one actually works at school for my school at least and uh this is a pretty fun game to be playing especially it um the only thing is at school it gets a lag spikes but here it's perfectly fine now there's all these different races you can play as. Uh, these are the only not available ones that you need to premium get. But there's all the other ones here: werewolf, dryad, demon, celestial, golem, vampire, Atlantean, Atlantean, and human. Now I got my farthest ever using a golem. Somebody, I think it was like a fighter or something. I forget though. It's golem something. I'm gonna go with the golem fighter this time. Um, these are titles that you unlock after um, Wow, can't think. Too hot. These are the titles you unlock after you die on each run. Each and so I've had three runs as you can see. I'll pick that and that. Those are my two titles. I'm gonna pick Deadly and Devastating. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna try and be more like a sword and such fighter. So I'm gonna do that. You can hold down the mouse to move around like such, or you can just point and click. Alright, let's lower him over. I'm gonna try and go, well, I guess so well. But in the beginning, you can kind of get owned quite easily. But later on, you can take on guys, no problem. You can see all the different icons for the stuff. Armor. Let's see, less range of damage. Takes away intellect. It has a, that's better to be honest. In my opinion. Alright. Rings don't offer much armor. They, they never offer armor. They offer things like this. Resistance and spells. This one don't offer anything. So you can just sell it. Mana pearls help you get a better score at the end. The more mana pearls, the better. You can see this little white dot here, that's the exit, and in every exit room there is a big boss guy who is extremely powerful. So you should try to avoid going after him until you've beaten everybody else so that you're as strongest as you can possibly be. Best armor you can possibly get from the level, the most experience, because you can see experience bar down here, health bar, mana bar, or magic bar rather, that's what it's called here. This is my spell, Charm. I don't like Charm, it's not really all that helpful, but it's supposed to make it so that people will help you. See, I have Charmed him. Now, he should be helping me, but for no apparent reason, they don't like to help you that much. They just follow you. So, it's a good way to keep somebody from attacking you until you're ready for, to be attacked or attack. You know, you know what I'm saying. Alright, I should be speaking over the music in this game, hopefully. Doesn't sound all that loud in my uh, headphones here. New armor. Definitely better, because it gives you, or gives me, the strength and stamina, which strength is for overall physical damage. Stamina gives you uh, a higher max health and higher health regeneration. This, as you can see, it gives total magic supply as well as the rate at which it replenishes the regeneration. This improves the strength of elemental damage such as fire, ice, poison, and electric. How much you do, not how much you take. These guys don't give any elemental. I think these guys do poison damage though. You level up, when you level up you get four stats to improve. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think these guys do poison. No, they just do regular damage. I think the yellow ones do poison damage, though. But, 
I can't be sure. That is definitely better. Critical Strike is a very good. It does a lot more damage per hit. This takes away Fire Resist. It is possible to get 100 Fire Resist. I think these are percentages that it takes off. And if you get 100, Fire does absolutely nothing to you. Nothing at all. And I love it. Because you can just sit there and they fire, fire, you put the fire on you, you, you know what I, okay. Anyway, we don't have many fire people to worry about at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about resisting. It's time to go see the boss. Okay, the boss is a big one of these. It'll always be like one of the regular guys, but bigger and stronger with a name. Gnaw the Mastermind. Okay, interesting. To be honest, I think you should attack the weakest ones first, like the ones with less health, so that they are not wailing on you while you attack a guy with more health. Um, that is not good, because I don't use will. I'm not using it right now. I swear, this game does might not look all that much, but, like all that much, but it is quite a... Yeah, yeah, the, you can see up here, he's doing 5 poison damage per bite, per hit. And this, as you can see, it gives charge and force stamina. Charge allows you to do something like that. There's also a thing called wild charge. By the way, these guys are much faster than any regular guys. There's a thing called wild charge. I'm using the critical. I should stop talking about multiple things at once. Oh yeah, these guys give like a bunch of equipment when they die. So there's a thing called wild charge that will... You charge like it's just a regular thing, except you will do damage to anybody you pass over while you're charging at your target, which is pretty cool. Let's see, I don't even have a helmet. This guy, uh, fish is always like a fish of luck. It'll give you a better chance of finding treasure when you kill somebody, I think. Um, but they do barely any damage, as you can see, and sometimes they give you like stamina and will and such, like this one does, but not really often, so I don't really like those. I don't use them. Uh, this way. Alright, I like to go a roundabout way so I can get each thing more conveniently. So, uh, touch. This thing's doing a lot more damage. This one is swarm, so... Let's try that out. I haven't really used that. Yeah, it's just like being swarmed by... See, I didn't even attack him. That was actually pretty good. I didn't even touch the guy and he died. As you can see, it takes away mana per thing. It gives you... It takes 70 mana for this. Only 30 for that. So if I do that and just run, he'll die. Bye! Some things like this swarm will make you like automatically target them. The person, why did I glitch? I don't like glitching. Oh yeah, here's one of those more advanced little frog guys. By the way, as you can see, I'm demonstrating here, like, that's why I'm running. If you're in a battle with somebody, things will regenerate much slowly. Your health and mana regenerate so much slowly. But if I were to kill this guy, then my mana is going to start going up much faster. See? Alright, moving on over. Alright, this guy is blue. He gives ice damage. The blue guys give ice damage. And one of, in some of the later levels, well, when you get to the later levels, there are guys who have two axes, and they're like big, gigantic metal creatures. They, I hate them. They, If you are getting hurt, you usually run so that you can regenerate your health can't run for these guys. If you do that, they'll hurt you even more because they have charge, which I think is just overpowered for them. It seriously is just not cool. I'm gonna swarm you and kill you and kill you. Alright, we got two rooms left. The boss room, which is gonna have a big gigantic ice skeleton, and this room over here. I'm kind of ganged up here, so a lot of people are doing damage at once. That can get annoying when there's items all around and you're trying to kill somebody. You'll end up clicking on the item and it'll go after the item. 
And yes, you can have two rings in here, as you can see. There's two slots for rings, one for everything else. And there is a bug where if you are running, you go in your inventory, he'll just like run in place often. And same with attacking, he'll just stop attacking. Um, I already have charge stamina. Don't really need stamina at the moment. I'll just keep the ice resist. Charge! Charging can get the attention of a lot of people. That's one thing to look out for. There's a lot of people you don't want to mess with at the moment. Then you might want to avoid charging. What did I get here? That's a pretty nice looking sword. Actually, it gives two strength as well. And intellect. That'll improve the damage of this and that, I believe, right? Yeah. If it tells you how much damage it's going to do, it will not improve the damage with intellect. Less damage. Yeah, I'm do it. I'm going to do it. Screw the swarm. Alright. Uh, nope. Not better. Not better. Not better. And not better. A lot of things are not going to be better when you get them. Like, it's easy to just get a whole bunch of useless crap in your inventory. This might be a bit reckless here. Alright, I'm gonna be fine. I'm fine. It doesn't really do much damage to just charge somebody who's sitting right in front of you. So you might want to just avoid doing that so that you can keep uh, your magicka, your mana up just in case. If I had Wild Charge, I would have done damage to this guy. Maybe even killed him. Because Wild Charge, when you pass through somebody, it does actually do quite a bit of damage. That Critical Strike, that probably would have been better. But oh well. These guys, they are like mages. They can heal fellow enemies. Their fellow enemies. And their stabs shoot out fire. As you can see. And they, ha they have a decent amount of health. Especially for like the lower levels. So if you're running from them, they can actually hit you quite easily as well. At least they don't do too much damage though. They're doing like 10 damage. It's not too much. In accordance to the one guy who charges at you. That guy does a crap load of damage, which is not fun. These guys don't have heads, as you can see. So they don't really notice you until you're right next to them. And they're very weak, so they're kind of just like tissue paper. This is and these are the kind of maps I like to. You can just go on around. It's perfectly set up for you. Boss room being the last one. There is also another bug where if you like go to the side of the screen and just I'm not even holding anything down. Like hands off the keyboard right now. It'll just automatically do it for you if you don't like holding down the button. So. He dropped something. No. I thought I saw him drop something. Alright. Is there only that ice? No, there's this guy. Thanks, buddy. And dead. dead. Alright. Not better. Much better. Alright, I'm gonna show you how much stamina you get. Like, you see my health right now? It's at a maximum of 330. If I put this on, it'll add one stamina. Each stamina go gives 10 health. And I'm, I'm assuming that each willpower gives 10 magic. So, and then same with stamina. Stamina will give you like extra. Or strength would give you. Never mind, I can't speak. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Since I cannot speak a word. Oh god, there's a lot of people there. A lot of people are not happy with me right now. This is not cool. So, I just, like, completely disrespected my own rule there. And left, left the, uh, the little, the little weak guy. Oh, that's good armor right there. The little weak guy. There is armor with 11 armor points. And that is actually quite rare. I only found that, like, the last time I had played, which was the longest run I had. And it was at school, which made I had a lot of lag. Uh, I 
don't think you can uh, do like the fire shooting thing like the NPCs can do using the stabs because I wasn't able to when I used it for a brief time so I'm just gonna get rid of it don't need that uh, I'll sacrifice the resist for the better helm chests hold a lot of stuff Th those little orbs are the mana points if you didn't pick up on that earlier nope let's see less damage but it does ignite I'm gonna show off ignite real quick then I'm gonna switch back because the other sword is better ignite does uh, I believe it's like the circle of damage right yeah it, it, anybody who's inside that circle will take damage a pretty good amount of it too as you can see and it takes mana up as you can also see by the fact that that went down the mana bar I'm just going to let the mana bar regenerate a little bit. Charge. This is a fire, dude, if you didn't realize that. But the fire, swim, swirl, swirling, swirling all around. Albl the Butcher. Interesting. The vampire is pretty nice. I kind of like the vampire race very much so. Because every physical damage that he does... Uh, every physical damage heals him. All melee damage he does heals him. This has a lot more damage. It takes away the strength. Ah, screw it. Oh, it gives the swarm too, so that's nice. Uh, go this way so that we don't have to backtrack later. As you saw, his health went up for a second there. That's because the one guy healed him. Well, if you saw that. I don't know if you did. This has the heal spell. It doesn't heal all that much. I think you it would be better if you leveled up your intellect if you were to use that. Because it don't really heal too much. I'm going to see if the swarm can actually take him out. Yeah, the swarm is actually very good. Entangle, that can save you big time. It doesn't work on those guys who charge that I mentioned earlier because they can still just charge after you. But if you're being chased by a big boss and you have low health and you need to regen, you can just use Entangle and just keep on running. They cannot chase you. Alright, um. I'm not gonna use that though.